Hello, this is Andrew with Mr. Remote. Just wanted to alert everyone to an issue that um, I recently discovered while trying to make another video, which should be out shortly. With the way that the UDM Pro implements firewall rules, uh, basically it doesn't when it comes to site-to-site -site VPN. The USG family should work. I've only tested on the USG Pro. It works the way that Unify says it should. The UDM Pro does not. Basically, it just doesn't apply firewall rules to VPN traffic. How we're gonna just quickly demonstrate how that is not working. I have a ping going here from my local workstation to a server that sits on a remote network that is across the site-to-site -site VPN bridge. I have a firewall rule here, which blocks VPN traffic, drops it, have the local networks to remote networks. These are the networks that are defined across that VPN network on the local side. This is a group that defines the remote network on the other side of the VPN. And I'm just gonna turn it on and then we'll save it. They saved it successfully. And just, you know, just to make sure that everything is, we're not rushing this, we can go to the devices and we can see that our UDM is fully provisioned. And we can see here that our ping, nothing has happened, it's still going. Now, I have contacted Ubiquity support around this, and for all of those of you that want to tell me that I'm holding it wrong, they've actually confirmed that this is an issue, but unfortunately, given the way that things have been going with the firmware development uh, with the UDM Pro, I have absolutely no idea when they'll actually fix it. It's been about two months since the latest stable firmware release for the UDM and UDM Pro. There have been some beta releases in the meantime, unfortunately, can't really talk about that because it's um, uh, covered by Ubiquity's strange NDA, but two months is a long time to wait in between for official releases on something that is the, the age and, and this, the level of feature gap between where it is and where it should be. So I'm not gonna hold my breath here, which is why I'm making this video to let everybody know so they don't spend weeks trying to figure out how to do this, why it doesn't work, contacting Ubiquity support, and then spend more weeks sending files back and forth for them to tell you that it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Hopefully you found that useful and this is a time saver for you. Unfortunately, if you have site-to-site -site VPNs set up with UDMs on either side, you're just kind of hosed at the moment. Not sure what the, the solution would be for you to do. If you have USGs on, e on one of the sides, you can write firewall rules to cover both sides on the USG, which is one of the things that we're gonna cover in that other video that I am planning to do. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thank you.